What are you doing, Brian? I'm flying in a, riding in a Storch. It's a very popular, it's a three-quarter scale Storch. I'm full scale, I'm a full scale guy, but I'm in a three-quarter scale plane with Levi. Very kind gentleman. You're flying with okay. probably one of the best stole pilots in the world, too. Well, lie. he's flying with one of the newest, best instrument rated pilots in Texas. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So, I mean, you should be as impressed. So, you follow roads? IFR, right? I'm not, I've never actually filed yet. I just got the ticket. Oh. Actually, I moved the seatbelt. Should be on your right and left side. You're not going to do anything dangerous. No, we're just going to go around the pattern because I don't have enough gas to do anything else. All I ask is that if you put me on your YouTube, you be gentle and kind. I'm a kind fellow. <laughs> <laughs> what are you about to do, Brian? I'm going to get a good You're going to be flying in a, in a replica storch. I'm flying in a storch. Right now, I'm yeah, learning okay, how to so, use the seatbelt in a so storch. Here, you put... Put, the, put this. You and, thought this was going to be fast, didn't this? you? Now you're like wasting my yeah, day. Yeah, like, okay, here we go. Turn this around. Where are my seat feet? is coming back. And I got rudder pedals? Uh, you do. I advise you to please not mess with them. Okay, you're taking but, the fun out of this, Levi. <laughs> <laughs> you can mess with them after I get in and I'll show you. Your feet get stuck in there. Make sure we're clear of everybody. I think I'm out. good. I think I'm PIC. I like that there's all these red and white things that you're not supposed to touch around you. Yeah, so let me give you a quick brief now that we're in here. Okay. Anything that's red, don't touch it. See that? Oh, that's, no actually, way, yeah. that's actually my flight controls. You see the flap handle? I do. It moves that bar across your forehead, right? Yeah, I see it. So just be very careful with those. Now, you, the toes, if you feel down here with the rudder pedals you were just talking about, mm -hmm. if, I do, if you do want to fly it, I will let you hand fly it a little bit. But put your toes right down at the bottom. Don't try to put your feet all the way up on the on the crossbar. That's yeah, a, yeah, that, that'll a serious work. pilot. I'm not really familiar with yeah. rudder usage, sir. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> So Levi's plane is actually a modern three-quarter scale replica of a German Storch, which was designed for medical evacuation missions in 1935. That mission dictates that a plane have good short takeoff landing characteristics. With really good stall abilities and a stall speed of only 31 miles per hour, it makes perfect sense to design a modern version of this for stall competitions. When we made this hairpin turn, I was super impressed at how agile and nimble this plane was, but you haven't seen anything yet. Once we got up, Levi decided to show me some slow flight in the storage. He pulled the power back, pitched the nose up, and the plane slowed to a crawl. For a brief moment here, I kind of missed my grumman. As I mentioned before, the stall speed is listed as 31 miles per hour. I think you could fly this thing through a school zone in this plane without getting a ticket. When you look out the window and look at the ground, it's almost like you're not moving at all. This is pretty incredible. Next, Levi asked if I wanted to take my turn at the controls. Full transparency, I'm not real comfortable flying with a stick and I'm a super cautious pilot, especially in a plane that I'm not used to, so straight and level and some easy turns just to kind of get a feel for it. Once I was done, Levi decided to take the controls back and show me that this aircraft will turn on a dime. Check this out.
So last thing on the list was a stall. Given that this thing can fly so slow, I wanted to see what an actual stall was like. So Levi put in the flaps, pulled the power, pitched the nose up, installed the aircraft, and it was actually far more benign than I expected. And there it is. Let's go land this thing. So the sight picture during landing is somewhat different than what I'm typically used to. These stole planes can come down at a much higher angle. They come down almost like a parachute. Um, in any plane I've flown, if I saw this, it would definitely be a go around. Not in the storage, not with Levi at the controls. This was a picture perfect landing. It was awesome. You know. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. You're very welcome. We stalled it. We, I, I did a steep turn, and then he showed me that I didn't really do a steep turn. <laughs> that was way over there, huh? Yeah. I it saw just, a little, I saw a little speck, and then I just saw... Wah. Yeah. It was fun. All right, so you got to get out. I got to get out. Yeah. And you can just do it gracefully. It's okay. okay. Let me show you a trick. Put your left foot back in there. Lean up and over the seat and grab one of these races right up here with the other hand you can grab on the seat help her pull yourself up okay now go over the seat and bring your right foot out on, on the seven i'll help guide it there for you bring your right foot out bring your right foot over here I am slowly... yeah yeah that's good <laughs> no, stop, stop, stop. Okay, you, okay, you went past it you gotta know where it is you're on the step you're on the step there you go a lot of planes, the steps are... Yeah, I, I can tell you didn't have the orientation in your mind where the step was. No, were. not a clue. <laughs> I should have to do it backwards. I got a good way to do you it. You know, most people... Oh, have a little less graceful than that. Watch your head. I did it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you want to see more of Levi, um, hop on YouTube. He's got a channel. His name's Levi Noguess, N-O-G-U-E-S-S. Um, or just keep an eye out for stole events. National stole, Lone Star stole, these types of things, and you'll see him come through. He's pretty prolific in that genre. Um, so thanks for watching. Thanks, Patreons, Gold Seal, everybody who supports the channel. Uh, probably going to be a couple of weeks without a video. Um, if you've been following my channel for a while, this is the time of year that we do our annual Rough River fly-in in Kentucky. So uh, I'm going to be doing a bunch of flying and not be near computers where I can edit video. Uh, but I'm definitely going to document that trip. I'm sure there's going to be some interesting characters uh, that I meet along the way. I'm smiling because I know of one for sure. Uh, so anybody, anybody, anyway, thanks for uh, watching. I'm trying to drive and talk. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing and subscribing. Doing all this stuff. You guys are awesome. Uh, happy Easter or whatever you guys celebrate. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Click this link to see the most recent video upload. Click this link to see a video that YouTube thinks you might like. Click this link to subscribe to my channel.